Arito Forest, home of diverse creatures, iguana, lap, monkey, deer, snake, and most importantly, the subject of our story today is the golden tree frog. You will think that they live in such a beautiful place. They will be happy. Oh no, they have been constantly under attack by greedy hunters. These quantrels have been for hundreds of years attacking the animals in the forest to steal their feathers and also their meat. They will burn the bushes as they set fire for their meat. Well, Michael the monkey said, it's time it finish. It must stop. He went to Oscar the Ocelot. And Oscar said, I agree with you. I agree with you. We need to have a meeting of all the animals. So they decided to go in a secret sanctuary where they normally hide when they are under attack. And they decided to use all of their skills so that they could chase those greedy hunters away. Mr. Snake said, he's going to wrap across the road so that when they walk, they will stumble. Mr. Parrot said, he was going to make a loud noise, quack, 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 so that will hurt their ears. And the bird said he will peck them, peck them in the eyes so they wouldn't see. And, ay, 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 ay. Then the spider said, they're going to weave a web so it will tie them up. Decided to make a plan. On the appointed night, when there is no full moon, when the hunters can't see nothing, they will make the attack. When the night time came, at the appointed day, the hunters, as usual, come into the forest. Mr. Big Ears, Big, fat, and bald. When he walk, he walk like boom, 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 boom. Everybody could hear. Just frighten all the animals. Waiting. Mr. Snake said, Shh. Oscar said, no, we not yet. As the hunters set a fire and they take their little, they take their, 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 their um, kerosene, they throw it on the, on the, on the wood. And they make it up and light a fire, the whole forest is light, but they could not see the animals waiting in the bushes. Suddenly, Mr. Oscar began to make his growling noise. Oscar the Ocelot. <laughs> Mr. Snake, right, wrap himself around the hut, but the the attack will full force, shooting animals, shooting deer, shooting us a lot. They were hopelessly outnumbered. Then suddenly, in order to cover their work, they set the whole forest afire. The animals were in despair. They were crying, oh God, help us, help us. Suddenly a rain came down and drenched everywhere. In their tears, the book they did not Lizzie, the golden tree frog, slip away to one called Papa Boy because she could not do anything. She said, Papa Boy is the only man for this. When she told Papa Boy, Papa Boy was enraged. She said, Don't worry. He made a secret call to all the animals in Trinidad and Tobago, in every forest, began making their way up to Arupo. And Papa Boa led with his army of Sukuya, with the golden light going up into the forest, Lagahu and Sukuya and Mamadelo and Duel. The noise of when they got to the hunters, the hunters had their guns, so they were not afraid. They began shooting at Papa Boa. Bam! 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 So scared when the bullets began bouncing off of Papa Boa as they came moving forward. Moving 
forward, moving forward. Papa Gua and his whole army of folklore characters. Well, the hunters this time get so frightened, they drop their gun and began to run and scream ah, 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 like babies out of the forest. Papa Gua said, Ah, listen. The golden tree frog, I am going to make you the guardian of this Aripo forest. All the animals cheer. You are all here, right? You are all here, right? You saved us. You saved us. That they thought. Any time you end. You realize you hear a song of the golden tree frog. That is the reason for that. They are a guardian of the ripple forest. 